lady Jack and Lumberjack fans to this episode of Yak with the Jacks. We are actually on the road today. We're here at the Botno Cron with sports editor Matt Simmage. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thank you, man. Um, so we're going to try doing something new every once in a while. Get on the road, get some people who are involved with sports, um, kind of get their insight and kind of what's going on. I want to get Matt this week because there's almost every sport is playing this weekend. So you're going to have a busy week. Everything but volleyball, baseball, softball, yeah. Especially with, you know, covering the high school sports. You guys are kind of out and about this week. Yeah, uh, district volleyball this weekend, and then Monday too, probably. And then uh, Saturday I'm going to Kildare for West Hill for football. So Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. That's a trip. I'm almost going as far as you are to Minnesota. Yeah, right? Yeah. So hey, we'll, while we're talking about that with Minnesota, we're... Uh, you got the game on Saturday. Yep. You got the win. Um, kind of had, kind of was ugly with um, having penalties and whatnot. But what do you, what do you think that the the Jacks need to work on to, to beat Rochester this week? Um, well, you're going to the number one team in the country, so there's, <laughs> there's that. I mean, uh, I mean, that, that's let's be honest, it's not going to be easy. No. Um, it, it's been getting better lately. Um, you know, you look at last week. This one's been a little bit better. Yep. Um, penalties Agreed. were still a problem, but they weren't as big of a problem as they were before. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen in terms of the offense, in terms of who's going to run it. Uh, yep. You know, Austin Ruiz starts um, on Saturday, and then fourth quarter, Trayvon comes in. Mm -hmm. Hadn't played quarterback here. Did play in high school. Yep. Um, but he's kind of had he had a little bit of time off from playing. That, but yeah, it's one of those with uh, with injuries. Um, and then with Trey Speed, we you know we got different um, yeah. tools. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully they can't they can't key on that, or if we make our blocks and do it right. Well, it, it adds a new wrinkle too. So yeah. So now moving on to basketball, the yeah. men and women open up. Actually, the men are on the road today to play in Brandon. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh, they're on the we got this weekend with the Kevin Tone Class and opening up. Um, were you at the scrimmage the other day uh, last week against Fort Berthold? I was at the Green Light game. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, we'll and get to we that. had a, we had to win our trophy. So. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but with basketball, what what are your thoughts from, you know, what do you, what do you think? What's your expectations or what to see this year? Well, I guess today the men's are going to the school that uh, Brandon's kind of named after, right? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you know what? It's going to be an interesting year for men's and women's. Uh, mm -hmm. Men, I mean, there's a lot of turnover anyway. It's, yeah. it's Juco basketball, right? But they, they lose eight of their not top nine scorers. So there's, uh, there's that to deal with. And you got um, a lot of new freshmen, too. Yep, yep. Uh, ten, I think. Quite a few. I don't know the exact number. Yeah, and I mean, they're, they've got a handful of sophomores that they can rely on. I mean, I think Lewis Williams is going to have a good yep. year. Uh, Joe Baker will be even better. JJ coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the, for the women, you got the girls. You have two of the girls just got done playing volleyball this past week, and now they got to turn around and play basketball. Right. At you least know. they're both healthy, though. Agreed. Yeah, yeah they're kind of having. Maddie Schmidt kind of had some problems last year in terms of staying healthy, at least during the basketball season. So Agreed. it's just kind of good that she's been able to come in. Uh, I'm excited to see what your girl Steph Brendan can do. Friend of the show, right? Yes, I'll say that my girl. Well, she's been on your show. Agreed, yeah. agreed. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I'm really excited to see what she can do. I, I think the high school is going to be, um, I don't want to say lost without her, but they're going to have to try and yeah. fill that space. Um, in terms of their freshmen, I guess we'll kind of wait and see, right? I mean, yeah, you know, that, we're, yeah, we're there's always that adjustment period, yeah, especially but I mean, for local North Dakota girls, kind of yeah. get the speed of of whatnot and keep going and try right. to figure it but, out. Uh, like, I know there's a couple of injuries, too. Um, I know they're waiting on to see what's going to happen with Maddie Erickson. Yep. Uh, Nina Nakano, Alshin Sheets has mono. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. Um, Lauren Mock had knee surgery over the summer, so yep. she's kind of hoping to be ready to go by, like, around Christmas. Agreed. Yeah. So it might be a rough start at the beginning, but better at the end. Which, yeah. that's, Coach, that's Coach Johnson basketball anyways. Yeah, well, plus they have to see how they're going to um, replace, if they can replace Imani Scott, if they can replace Chelsea Fraser. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, probably two of the best, better players in the country last year. So. Yep, agreed. Well, let's move on to hockey. Yep. 
Um, you, you were coached the green white. Got got the dub. Coached. <laughs> and you kind of did the mighty ducks. Switch it up. And then you kind of did it. Or do you even call line changes? Not really. Oh, that's not fun then. No. But they got. I, I, I kind of left the high pitch voice to Rick. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. They're on the road to Wisconsin this weekend. They actually, leave Michigan. Michigan. I'm saying, yeah. Leave uh, this. I think tomorrow. Yep. Uh, what What do you think is what do you, what, what's your expectation or what do you think the is going to be what the Jackson be good at this year? When I talked to um, Ruby the other one well, last week, he was I don't want to say non-committal, but he was on a lot of the questions because he's kind of taking a wait and see approach to see yep. what he has. And they've got a lot of freshmen too. Mm -hmm. um, all their goaltenders are freshmen. Yes. So there's that. And one of them, I think, uh, yeah, one of them is like fresh out of high school. Right. The other two played juniors. One of them was juniors overseas. Yeah. So I mean, he's not the only one on the team who's like that. I mean, you look like a Noah Grant, and he's yeah, Noah and Niall, too, right? yeah. Mike Worth, uh, yeah. Rasmussen. Right. So yeah, I think it's a I think it's a good thing though to have those true freshmen in because. A little more nimble. You don't have the game with experience, right? But you know they're able to learn faster in my eyes. Yeah. Um. No, I think I'll be. I, I don't know if they'll necessarily be great. I, I already know they'll be better. I mean, just from what I've seen from the first couple of weeks, I, I think there might be a couple of things that they're still missing. They, they don't really seem to have that one. Um, that one sniper that you really want, mm -hmm. but it looks like offensively they're going to be better. Agreed. Um, Goaltending, I guess. I guess I gotta go with Ruby. I guess we'll see. I mean, we've only seen them play against each other. You know what I mean? Uh, we haven't seen them play against anybody else, and that's kind of when we'll figure out what yeah. the effort defense. But and what we'll to see is after this weekend, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and then they're home next week. So. Hey, you're not exempt from our games we play, man. I say my ten knives up from them, apparently. This one is puzzle. Of course. <laughs> Playing tricks on you. Literal tricks. Trick cereal. It's a cereal box. Okay, scoot that bring that chair over here. I will time you to see how fast it takes you. What's the wrong button? To assemble this. Okay. Are you going to do this too? Or well, of course. Okay. This is a great video. All right, Marks? Yep. Get set, go. Time. Two twenty. My turn. You mix it up for me. I should like shuffle these like cards. By the way, you would have lost a minute to win it. <laughs> they have less pieces. Close your eyes. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm the one who cut them. Here we go. Yeah, but now you're ruining the cards, though. Right? Here we go. Okay. Give me. <coughs> yep. Uh, Any marks? Yeah. Go. Look at all these empty white spaces. 138, bud. Look at this Look. giant gap here. I'm on an uneven. I'm on an uneven surface. For that and it's all I'm on an uneven. You're not using your excuse. Uneven surface. I win. Yeah, but mine looks clean. I won. You didn't even look at your time. I already stopped at 138. And what did I have? <sighs> uh huh. Loser. Anyways.
Out of my shot. <laughs> Anyways, I thought this went well for the first satellite edition of Yak with the Jacks. Yeah. You forgot the power though. It's alright. You're gonna have to treat yourself later. Oh, I'll just have to take this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? The funny thing about that is, after I won that last year, I didn't see it for a year, so I've only seen it for two days. So? So I'm now. Just, I'm kind of, no, I'm kind of used to that now. Okay. I'll, I'll just forget where it was like Backwards. Time. Yeah, that would be nice if you had it back in front. Anyways, thanks for having me at your place. Yeah. Be on the show. Thanks for being here. Um, oh, stay busy this weekend. I don't have any other choice, do I? Yeah. Do I? You can not go and get fired. Where's that? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that, but... Well, good. Thanks for covering our sports, too, all of them, and we'll hopefully see you at some of the games. And if, you haven't, if you're have not a subscriber to the Botnell Cron, go ahead and send your mail in to what's the address? Um, I can't remember the mail, <laughs> mail address off the top of my head, but it, well, I'm easy to find, so just look for the tall guy with the camera at the game so I can get a hold of you that way. That works. Or yeah. check him out on Facebook at the Botnell Cron. Yep, yep. Uh, Twitter, Cron Sports, too, so... There you go. Yeah. That's all I've got. You got anything else? Peace to the family. That's about it. Always remember, Go Jacks!